Hi there, Coach Steve here. Uh, you might have run into this problem with Mac or iOS uh, software this fall. With the updates, you get a neat new feature, and it looks a little bit like this. That's a reaction, and reactions are kind of cute, uh, but if you're in the middle of a Zoom call with the CEO of your company or with a client, you might not want that to happen. And there are ways to turn it off, and we're going to talk about that. So the first step on our iPhone is to run the app. So we're going to click on FaceTime as an example here, and it's going to open up that. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to start a call. So I'm actually going to call myself here. And when I click on FaceTime, it's going to open up the app and start a call. Apologize for the image. Then we're going to drag on the right side of the phone from top to bottom to open up the control panel. And what you'll see up top is you'll see the video effects reactions lit up in that box in the upper left. What we're going to do is click on that to toggle it off. You'll notice here that we can also play with studio light and with portrait, but if I want to turn reactions off, I tap on reactions, it turns off, and now I won't get those reactions on my phone. So next, we're going to move on to what to do on the Mac with applications on the Mac. For each application, you're going to have to individually go and turn off the, um, uh, the reactions. And so this is an example. This is Ecamm Live. And if you'll note up here, when we first started, this was green up here. I think it changes color because I'm recording it. But if I click on it, you'll see, oh, there's screen flow. But I want to look at Ecamm Live. And if I look at Ecamm Live, right now reactions are selected. So if I click that off, that will turn off the reactions for Ecamm Live, and that settles it for that. So that's the, the example. For other apps, there might be a trick or two, and I'll share what I discovered uh, as a trick for using Zoom, because I know many of you are probably using Zoom. Okay, so I said uh, I'd show you something from Zoom. Actually, Zoom's very straightforward as well. So here we are. We're going to start a new meeting, and I'll be here. I'm going to join with computer audio, and you'll see above, this would have been a green box, but it's, it's not a green box. It's a purple one because I'm recording it on ScreenFlow. But if I click on it, you'll see that my Zoom reactions here, and I have it on Zoom here. I can also look at ScreenFlow reactions, but they are on and off there. In studio lighting and portrait, portrait lighting, you might want to play with as well. Portrait, for example, will blur the background for you. So there's some things that you might have some fun with here, but we can turn reactions on and off there. So it's pretty much the same as the eCam I just showed you. Now, uh, for those of you who use Zoom Rooms, uh, let me show you something else. I'll put a link to this article, but this is for Zoom Rooms, and I don't use them, um, but uh, you might. Uh, and so what it says here is if you want to get Zoom Rooms and get rid of or manage the reactions, you uh, would connect a keyboard to the Mac that you're using to control the Zoom Room. Um, you'd get into uh, the Zoom Room and then uh, you'll have video active. Um, you'll test to see if you're getting reactions. So again, if you're in a conference room and it's getting reactions, sometimes that causes things to freeze. You don't want that. So if you want to turn that off, they say to, com to press Command H on the keyboard, and that's going to hide the Zoom rooms uh, for Mac application. Uh, but then at the menu bar up top, now you'll see that green icon where you can click on it and adjust your settings. And then you can go back down to the dock and reopen the Zoom room from there because it's been minimized. And that will allow you, the control H is hiding, okay? Uh, that'll allow you to uh, then control your reactions in a Zoom room. So I hope that helps you control the reaction function that's built into Sonoma. It's, it's a fun party trick, but in certain circumstances, you really wouldn't want it. And now, at least in a few cases, you know how to turn it off. I haven't done Microsoft uh, or um, Google Meet or those. Um, they probably work similarly, uh, but try them yourself. And if you have success or you find a trick, uh, put a comment below and share it with others. 
So thanks and see you next time.